right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing that they have that you don't have. Train. <laughs> right now, at NASA and ISTC facilities around the world, future astronauts are learning how to live and work in space. But you are here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft. The X-2 Deep Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words, go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang out. Now you've already been organized into teams, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. And the success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes I'll give all of you specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your mission, you will be enclosed inside X-2 flight trainers that produce deep space flying conditions, such as turbulence and G-forces. Those who are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators or spinning should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. It is intense, and if you would like to opt out, you can sign up for mission control training in the advanced training lab. Just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. Attention trainees, if you are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators or spinning, 
You may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniformed crew member for directions. Congratulations, team. You've been selected to train for an elite mission, the first mission to Mars. Robotic teams have already established your landing site here at the North Polar Cap. Your mission is to get to that site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot assist, your trip will take three months, so we'll have to put you into hypersleep. Hypersleep activated. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake-up call when you get to Mars. D minus three minutes and counting. Okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket and also deploy the shields. Commander, you'll be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for land. Engineer, when it's bedtime, you'll activate hyperspeed. We'll also extend the wings for land. Don't worry. When it's time to push the buttons, I'll light up, then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks in every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for the new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew positions in the cockpit, and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, closing your eyes, or looking left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest, keep your eyes open at all times, and focus straight ahead, even if you start to feel disoriented. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. Attention trainees. Follow the markers on the floor to your X2 trainer and begin boarding now. Store personal items in the compartment of the cluster, then reach up and pull down all your strings. Capcom to Mars Axel. Welcome aboard, team. After you get settled, check out your button. Navigator, welcome aboard. Now remember, during the mission, you'll be initiating lunar orbit and descent. Loading flight time. Pilot, the X2 is an excellent ship. All you have to do is fire the second stage. Warning, instrument panel closing. If needed, space sickness bags Surgeon, are located on the instrument panel. Commander's call rate is a little no, high. No. Commander, everything's A-OK. -okay. Just concentrate on your assignment, first stage step, and manual control. Engineer, just a reminder, you'll activate hypersleep and extend the wind. Look at my fingernails. <laughs> Good luck, team. All of us here at Mission Control are proud to be a part of this historic liftoff of the first mission to Mars. Mission Control, this is the firing line. Give us the go, no, go, go for launch. Go, 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 Navigator, 
Fire rockets for lunar orbit insertion now.